Thank you, Sam, for these clothes. I feel almost human again. You're welcome. You too, Dante. No problem. Your turn. No, uh, I'm, I'm all right. We can just wait. Cody, you're going to feel so, so, so much better. better. All right, all right, all right. No need for an uprising. Come on. Yep. Let's get you in there. I'll go. You've got to change. You smell. OK. You were all right. I'm very happy to be out of that creep's clothes. Mm -hmm. Look what I found. It was in one of Montague's pockets. I'll have to have these analyzed. Yeah, I'm guessing he wasn't planning on taking those pills himself. Montague knew he crossed a line, and you were his only witness. A loose end. What are you saying, Sam? Do you think Dr. Montague was going to slip me an overdose? He had those pills on him when he found us in your room. You think he was going to kill me? You can't say that Montague wanted to kill you, but maybe he wanted to keep you unstable enough to the point where he could move you somewhere else, and your recovery was virtually impossible. Yeah, but... I mean, the fact that Montague was bringing the pills into Ferncliff points to something extreme, right? You know, doctors don't dispense medication from their pockets. I mean, this shows that he had some kind of plan. Yeah, but what exactly? And how do we prove it? Well, this all started after I petitioned to end Gladys's guardianship, and the court assigned Dr. Montague to evaluate me. And, and yes, that, that might be a coincidence, but uh, we know that Gladys and Montague know each other from the poker game at the Savoy. And, and granted, you know, Montague's debt isn't as deep as Gladys's, but every gambler needs a steady cash flow. Okay, so Gladys ropes in Montague to make Sasha appear to be unfit to the courts, but he pushes it too far, and you wind up stabbing Cody and get sent to Ferncliff. Yeah, but then Montague's got another problem. What happens if you regain enough clarity to the point where you can link your breakdown of the pills that he was giving you? He's got to cover his tracks. He's got to make you not just look insane, but hopelessly addicted. So then, he I mean, he's at least guilty of, 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 of what, covert drugging? Like, isn't, wouldn't that be considered poisoning? Well, it's criminal malpractice and attempted murder. But again, guys, how do we prove it? According to the authorities, Montague is the victim here. He was beaten and tied up. Montague had a pocket full of pills he was going to use to OD me. I understand that, but we have no proof. These could have come from anywhere. Yeah, and right now, it's just our word against his. And... We are escaped mental patients. Well, at least Sasha is either an escapee or a kidnapping victim. You, on the other hand, are a felon, one for assault and kidnapping. Cody did not kidnap me. He rescued me. We have to stop this before it gets any worse. We can turn ourselves in and tell the truth. 